Yo, what is going on guys? It's Skyth, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a shepherd stone. Before this video really starts, I just want to give you guys some little updates. First update is my EP. Oh, that's an ad. My EP has released. It's released on February 14th, just took me a while to really announce it on here. But if you haven't listened already, just go ahead and listen. The little thing I made and... I'm really proud of it. It's released by O4 Collective, a collective run by Paper Skies right here. And I really like them. They're really nice people and I'm very happy with what they've done. My second little update is the Patreon. So you guys may have seen the Patreon video I made and I made some adjustments to it. So the Woo Patreon tier will no longer just include one sample, it'll include five samples. So basically it'll be a dollar for each sample a month. And the Oboe tier has been priced down to $15. That's about it for the Patreon. And then my last, the next little update is my Discord. On my Discord you can find my uploads and you can see some announcements I've posted. So that's about it for my little update things. Let's get back to the video. So in my little Mastodon remake, some of you guys may remember this if you listen to it, but at the very end here, there's a little riser that comes in. And you hear that riser, it sounds like it's constantly going up. Now, given that right here is the riser I've made, this is the actual Mastodon riser. But you can hear that it sounds like it's constantly rising. Especially right here. It sounds like it's constantly rising. There is just no ending to it. You can have it anywhere you want. So, I did some research and something that sounds like it's rising constantly is otherwise known as a shepherd's tone. Now, what is a shepherd's tone? A shepherd's tone is a tone that sounds like it's constantly pitching up. So what I've done is made myself a little patcher in FL Studio that just generates these tones. This is entirely made by me. I have a little interface and everything just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. And it sounds kind of like this. You guys can hear that it sounds like it's constantly pitching up. And I've added some articulations in this to get a different sound every single time. You'll need at least Serum to run this thing, just because Serum has both a sampler and an easy way to make macros, because a lot of this is macro driven in Serum, and it's just an easy place to change tones if you want to. And in some of my other patcher tutorials, you can see that I've used the same formula as before, and I have about three formula controllers and they're all routed to at least one of these. And I'll get into this later on how to use this in your own work, but I just want to explain how to get a shepherd's tone. Now this little serum right here is a preset I've used. I just say the preset because as you can see in the shepherd's tone little pasture thing, I have four of them and I wanted it to be consistent. I wanted it to be the same every single time so you could get the most consistent result. In a nutshell, all a shepherd's tone is, is just a sine wave pitching up it doesn't have to be a sine wave, but it's just pitching up an octave. And each time it cycles through an octave, a new sound comes in. So on LFO1, it's just a basic triangle shape. It's the default whenever you load in Serum. And this, what this automates is the level on the basic shapes and the noise, which the noise is just a sampler. So, but for now, let's just focus on the basic shapes. So when I hold this down, you can hear that it slowly goes up. It fades in and then fades out. So we go to LFO2 and we see that this is routed to the chorus pitch. So how I did this is I went to the matrix and typed in exactly 24 semitones. And so what that means is that with it being bipolar, it will pitch down 24 semitones and then pitch up 24 semitones. If you just want 12 semitones, you can right click this, or not right click, you can double click this, and then type in 12 semitones. But I want to leave it as is because I like the sound of 24, so I'll just leave it as that. And all you really do is you just clone these. And I'll make about four of these. So we have the first one, second one, third, fourth, and so on. And it just repeats itself constantly. 
how do you get the sound? First, I'm gonna draw a little little bit of a MIDI note in here. So these all play the same note. All right, now that we've got that done, all we really need to do is just offset each single serum. So what I do is I just grab, hold, alt, precise, and I just shift every one of these like that, almost. So it's offset and you do the same thing for the pitch. And you do that for every single one of these serums. So as you can see, all of these are offset and you can just cycle through them. See, they're all offset. You can do this any way you want, just as long as it's offset evenly. And so now we've got these all set up, we can hear what it sounds like. Pretty cool, right? So that's about it for how to make a shepherd stone. You can have this to be as fast as you want. You can turn the rate up or down. To whatever your liking is, you can change the wavetable if you want it to be a sine wave, a saw wave, or whatever else. So let's go into how to use this. So the basic use of this little pasture thing I've made is just simply to use it as a riser. Use it as a riser for anything. You don't necessarily have to have it in the same tempo or in the same key because it's constantly pitching up. But you can just have your own sine wave, you can change the tone to be a saw wave and you can just have some fun. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna show you some cool stuff to do with this. There is a version I made for myself which has Killer Hearts plugins, but I assume that most of you guys don't have Killer Hearts, so I'm gonna include a version that is native to FL Studio but does require a serum. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to make a sound with this. I'm gonna turn the tone up because I oh it's on sampler. I'm gonna turn the tone up so it's on a saw wave. Sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna pitch it up more, an octave maybe. Do some octave separation. Sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna add some reverb to that. Maybe some detune. Add some spread. Some chorus. And there you go. You got your little custom riser you can put anywhere in your track. It's very simple, very easy to use. I recommend you get it. I'm going to include a link to the Shepherd's Tone that just requires serum and it's going to be in my Patreon. So anybody that donates above $5 can get this plugin. Hey guys, I did figure this one thing and that's the sampler and oscillator thing. I forgot to explain what this meant, uh, but basically what you can do is you can substitute your waveform, which is a sine wave, saw wave, or whatever, with whatever sample you want. I can do this by going in each of these serums and inputting whatever you want in here. You can input any sound. You just need to go into the, the serum folder where it, the noise thing is and just input your sounds in here. So I'm just going to input my own sound and I'm going to show you guys what this baby can do. All right, I put some cool samples in the sampler that I could use as a shepherd stone. So without further ado, let's hear what it sounds like. I know you're all amused by this. I, I just, I know it. Let me push this down. Yeah, so if you're having a bad day today, I hope this made it worse. <laughs> Uh, no, but seriously, uh, you can just put in whatever sound you want in here. It doesn't have to be fart too, but this is a cool little thing I wanted to add in there. You can turn that on or off. You know, it's just, it's just a little thing. Sorry, I forgot to say this in the actual video, and this is post-production editing. Uh, bye. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you can, just try to donate to Patreon. I'm going to include the link for 
that plugin I made in Patcher, as well as other samples you can get on my Patreon you can find. If you want any like drum samples, any of these kicks, snares, or anything, and my, I'm also going to be releasing a drum sample pack soon, and that's going to be available for the top tier, because I, I try to get my sample pack released on Selfie, but Selfie charges quite a lot just to have it up every month. It costs about $19, 18 or $19 a month, and I can't really afford that, so I'm just gonna try and get on Patreon for you guys, and you can get these, you can get all of those high quality samples on my Patreon if you donate. So guys, thank you for watching, and make sure you join my Discord just to keep in touch with me and give me some video ideas if you guys want me to make any, any tutorials or any sound design requests, I'll be happy to do. But that's all guys, thanks for watching. Bye.